Hey guys, this is Jane Chunk McFly, and today we're gonna show you how to be an absolute baller. What the fuck is going on in here? Well, that was weird. Anyway, hey guys, I'm Danny McFly, here today with another tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you how to create patterns and make foam balls. It's very simple, so let's get right into it. So this is a very simple project that doesn't require a lot of tools or skills. You just need a basic uh, cutting knife for the foam. You need some foam, like any type of foam will do. I just have this one here right now. Uh, any sort of measuring tool I use this triangle and if you want to you can use any sort of dome or ball shape just for reference you don't technically need this is just helpful for any sort of uh, curvature issues and whatever and you can also shape the foam with it I will provide a file down below in the description in which you can calculate your own dome sizes with all the measurements you will see in a second just put in your values that you need and it will calculate all the measurements you need for you. I will explain what I'm doing now for patterning in Illustrator, but you can also do this by hand. You will see in a second what I'm talking about. This is just so it's easier to explain for you guys. So let's get right into Illustrator. So we have our dome that we bought, which is 14 centimeters in diameter, which gives us a radius of seven centimeters, which is half the di diameter. What we need for a dome is half the circumference of a ball. So we take those seven centimeters and multiply it by pi, which is approximately 3.14 centimeters, which equals 22 centimeters. So we have the center line already. Since the, the diameter goes this way as well with 22 centimeters, we need four segments of those to make a full dome. So to get four segments, I divide the circumference by four and that equals 5.5 centimeters. So we also have this line now. So we have the horizontal and the vertical center line. Now I separate this in multiple parts. You can calculate this, but it's a bit complicated. So I'm gonna make it easier on you. What I did is I just put tape on my dome that I bought, drew out one of these patterns, drew out the center lines and then put those uh, separating lines in and measured them out separately. And this way you can use those measurements for all other globes because you can just upscale them. And I will show you in a second how to do this. And that's it. So let's say I want a dome with 10 centimeters diameter. So here we go. We have 10 centimeters in diameter, which gives us a radius of five centimeters. Half the circumference is five times pi, which is 15.7 centimeters and four segments is 3.39 centimeters per segment. So first we take our center line and then next up we draw our center line vertically and you see one segment is 3.93 centimeters and then I separate those in, into separate pieces. So the second line is pretty easy to calculate. You take the 5.2 centimeters from your original pattern divided by 14 because that was the diameter of the original dome and then multiplied by 10 which is the diameter of your new dome which equals 3.7 centimeters and that's just how you do it for all the other pieces so for the next line I take the 4.1 centimeters from here divided by 14 multiplied by 10 and get to 2.93 centimeters for the final line, I do the same thing. 2.4 centimeters divided by 14 multiplied by 10 is 1.7 centimeters. So you're basically done with your pattern. All we need to do now is connect those pieces. And what we do here is just connect them. One, two, three, four. And an additional step you can do is to round it out. You only need to go this far with the step. You can do this on a piece of paper by calculating it. It works perfectly fine. I'm just doing it here in this program so I can show it off to you easier with all the math involved. Because we're going to fold the piece of paper along those two lines and just cut out 
one quarter and then if you unfold it you have the full piece so this is the pattern for a 10 centimeter dome that you can just transfer to your phone four times and then you have a 10 centimeter dome so let's switch over to the camera so i can show you how you cut this out of a piece of paper all right so now that we're back here with our piece of paper we're gonna draw out uh, the pattern really quickly we know we have 22 centimeters here in for this line so i'm gonna go 22 11 on each side and i'm gonna mark the zero point there we go first line then right angle to that we need 5.5 because it's a quarter of 22 And basically we're done with the pattern because now we're gonna fold it along this line and along this line and then once we cut this curve it will be translated to all the other curves. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna fold this line. And there we have it and we have our pattern that we just need to cut out. So we're gonna take some scissors here. There we go. And we get our pattern. As soon as I unfold this, you will see the part that we marked is the same as up here. One more step is we're gonna fold it back up because we have our lines here we need some alignment marks so we know where to put the pieces together and since we already have our lines we're going to use those and what i'm going to do is for, for each single line i'm going to cut out a small triangle corners in here and once I unfold this we have all the corners nicely cut out and these marks will align with every piece no matter how you put it together and there we have it we're gonna transfer this to phone now and we need four pieces so once I've transferred this to foam you will see it here with editing magic and here we go and there you have it four pieces of foam I roughly counted the pieces so I cut them out to size and now I'm gonna cut them straight it's very important to do a straight cut because if you angle your cut those pieces will not want to go together smoothly and you will have a bevel where, where the pieces go together so it's very important just to keep your knife straight and just cut carefully along the lines And there you have it, four pieces. I need to clean them up a little bit because I cut the allowance a little bit too small. And so I have some bevels in here, so I'm gonna use my Dremel tool with a fine sanding bit and just gonna smooth out the edges. And 
and there we have it we have all four pieces cut out smoothed out and before we glue them together there's one more step we need to do because these are flat now and obviously if we're gonna glue them together they are flat and not have a curved surface on the inside so what I do is I'm gonna pre-curve these separate pieces which we can use two different methods we can either use a dome heat it up and bend it over the dome or if you don't have a dome at home you can just put it on your knee and just rub it over your knee I suggest wearing pants for this because it's gonna be warm and we don't want you to burn your knee so pretty simple we just use our trusty heat gun here we're gonna heat this up and I personally because this is a smaller band I prefer using just my knee and as you can see it has nice curve on the inside now um, and we're gonna do this for all the other pieces as well and once all the pieces are done we're gonna glue them together so let's go time-lapse And there you have it, all pieces are nice and domed and now all that's left is glue them together. So we're gonna fan them out here, we're gonna get some contact cement from over here. I just use regular Patex contact cement but you can use any brand you want. And what I do is I get a piece of scrap foam and I just cut it into a tip like so and then I have these tipped foam pieces that I can just use to brush on my contact glue. So we're gonna start on one edge, very simple, line up the two edges and then slowly, very carefully try to align the edges of the piece and then once you get to the first alignment mark those should go together perfectly. And now we got all the pieces together and aligned. We're gonna start back from the front and just give it a nice pinch. So it's all pushed together and there are no visible holes anymore. And that's it. That's basically all you need. And you can see we have a nice dome shape. It needs a little bit more heat shaping here, but overall pretty straightforward dome i'm gonna do the other side other two as well so let's just do some magic and there you have it all the pieces are glued together i also heat shaped them a little bit so it's more round and i also sanded over the edges a little bit so we get all those edges nice and smooth and we don't have any uh, glue coming out and as you can see is a very nice rounded dome and you can barely see the edges anymore and once this is coated you will not see them anymore at all so there you have it half a dome if you need a full dome obviously or a full ball shape just repeat this you have the alignment marks on here still and just align it with the pattern marks again and then you have a full dome and that's it and there you have it that's how you make foam balls you can see this is just the guy from the tutorial. It is already sealed and painted. I also added a wedge for the teeth, so those are separate. But literally just the same thing, just a few added detail to the ball. And you can use the tutorial to make small guys like this. Or you can go ahead and make big guys like this here. So this is literally the same thing, just eight wedges out of thicker, bigger foam pieces. Um, and then I added the details after I finished the ball, just the foam here 
uh, just foam eyes and also foam cap. But the technique is exactly the same. So I hope this tutorial helped you. You now know how to make balls. And tell me in the comments down below what you think of the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorial. Zoom. Zoom. Zoom.